Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is my latest video on what is amp glow or more correctly just glow and what can I do to remove it from my image. So a little bit of backstory, um, CCD used to be the main technology for astro cameras and nowadays CMOS is catching up. So cameras such as these, like made by Altair or ZWO or QHY, they have CMOS sensors inside. So what is the difference between CMOS and CCD? Well the main difference is on CCD a lot of the extra circuitry to do with the actual sensor itself was separate to the chip, whereas on CMOS it's all usually integrated on the same sensor die. So what have you got on a CMOS sensor? You've got ADCs, noise reduction units and other supporting circuits. Now these supporting circuits, so these supporting circuits can often emit heat or near infrared light and it's this that causes the most characteristic starburst or amp glow or glow patterns on your images. So I'll show you. This is a frame from a 183C camera. And this is a frame from a 294 camera. The first image is taken with 30 second exposure darks and the second one was 246, 240 seconds worth of darks. So you can see that the longer the exposure, the glow grows. So how do I get rid of that in my images? I use a program called Astro Pixel Processor to stack and calibrate all of my images. And I'll show you how it can help you. Step one, you need to take calibration frames, but the most important calibration frame for making sure you can get rid of this type of glow is dark frames. Some important notes about your dark frames, you need to make sure that they match your light frames exactly. So exposure length, uh, temperature, gain or ISO and black off or offset value. This is a little bit more difficult if you have a fan cooled camera because you can't control the temperature that the sensor works at. So if you have a fan cooled camera I suggest shooting your dark frames at the end of your lights session. If you have a tech cooled camera you can specify exactly the temperature that the sensor is working at and so you can shoot darks at your leisure. I have a tech cool camera and it's the best thing I ever bought. Step two, if you go to the calibration tab on Astro Pixel Processor and scroll down under each calibration section you'll notice an option saying scale master dark or scale dark flat or any of that. Make sure scaling is disabled and that is because amp glow or glow or electroluminescent glow doesn't always behave in a linear manner. Step three, continue scrolling down in Astro Pixel Processor and at the bottom you'll see the adaptive pedestal reduce amp glow option. Make sure this is ticked and therefore when you calibrate your frames with this option ticked it prevents black clipping of the pixels after the master dark has been subtracted and therefore the resultant integration is not skewed. So if you follow all of these steps you should have an image which doesn't have any of that horrible glow and you should be quite happy with it. I've tried Deep Sky Stacker, I've tried Pixinsight and finally I've settled upon Astro Pixel Processor 
for my stacking and calibration. Deep Sky Stacker, great program to start with, but I find that it doesn't always handle these glues in the correct way. Same for Pixinsight, absolutely incredible program which I use for most of my other processing now, but the stacking and calibration in Astro Pixel Processor for these type of sensors is way better. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye for now.